Welcome back everyone. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video today to all the people out there who are struggling in getting their uh, multi pieces for a model actually to connect and look flush. Uh, I wanted to kind of show you a couple of things that I did to help out with that problem so that way when you have multiple pieces connecting together for one certain model that it does fit flush and you don't have a lot of seams and a lot of gaps. So let's check that out right now. Okay everybody, real quickly, um, I'm going to use this base from the character Null, uh, which is their latest model from Wicked Art. Uh, these are my reject pieces, that, but I still printed them in the same way that I printed my other base. Um, just so happens my other base is already together, so I'm going to use this for an example. So the problem that we have is we got a lot of people here that uh, are using the connecting sides here to put their supports and that's really the wrong way to do this. So what happens is when you actually put supports on this part or any part for that matter and your piece is pulling away from the VAT, uh, from the FEP, um, from the uh, build plate and everything, uh, you're actually distorting this piece a little bit and you're getting like these divots in here such as this and it's actually causing just a distortion in the piece where you have to sand and all kinds of stuff to fit it together, you're having to putty it up and everything, and you have a lot of seams and wide gaps. And so what I've been experimenting with, and it's worked uh, for me for 100% of the time, is where my connecting pieces are, I do not put any supports on there. I usually put them on the other sides um, or you know on the bottom where I know that there's gonna be like, maybe this sits on another temporary base. So what happens in the process is when you get these pieces out like this it's a very clean sides and they very go very well together like so and you have as you can see there's virtually no gap there's virtually no seam line or anything like that on there um, and you can it's minimal putty uh, filler resin however you want to and nothing is distorted so that's where we make a lot of mistakes from um, but like even your bigger pieces like this, um, you could see like the seam lines are not very bad at all. I mean, there's minimal stuff there. And again, these are reject pieces, so that's why it's cracked. But um, again, it fits the same way. So therefore, less cleanup, less filler, less sanding, and less headache. Now, you can't always do this on all your pieces because you may have one piece that's interconnecting on all sides. And if that's the case, then um, you kind of have to make your best judgment on that. Uh, but you will have probably one piece that might be a little distorted. Now, if you happen to have that, and I'll show you from this wing here, I actually printed this in three spots. Now, I did have to uh, print or use my supports on the, the connecting side on one of these like this right here where you see I've already got it sanded down, but um, it's still a little bit of a gap, but not near as bad. And let me tell you why. is because when I printed these pieces, I used heavy supports. Heavy supports have made a difference in my settings. Um, you can play around with it with yours. I do have one little gap right there, but um, th it's made a big difference in my supports, uh, you know, leaving big divots behind and everything. Um, I don't have a lot of that problem now. I don't know if it's just because my printer is dialed in compared to others, but this is something you could definitely try and see if you have a good success rate with it. But again, um, I don't put supports on my connecting pieces and that's on this whole thing here and all of it fits together really, really flush. Um, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. So even in pieces like this, where I took this one model, it was a hole in order to fit it on my build plate, I just split it in mesh mixer. I still did the same thing. I printed it to where the uh, supports were actually on the outside. Um, but in order to you know, keep it smooth and get it to where it fits correctly, that's what I did. And so there's no distortion. There's a minimal seam line right there, and a lot of that in the middle I won't even have to fill anyway because I have this other base going on top. But again, if you do that, then your seam lines are gonna fit together pretty nicely. You're gonna have a minimal gap, uh, less sanding, less primer, less, less filler, 
uh, and your print turns out pretty good. Give it a try. Let me know in the comment section what you think um, and uh, look forward to hearing from you. All right, everybody, I hope this little snippet of information was useful to you. Uh, if you do like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that keeps me going so I can actually put more content out there for you and get more people involved in our hobby of 3D printing and painting. So um, enjoy and wait till the next video. I got some really good stuff coming up for you very soon. Till next time, thank you.